Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So with all this talk about saving money, investing money, you know, some people might ask, you know, like, how much should I save? Like, how much should I have in my savings? You know, how much should I do for this or that? But we're going to talk a little bit about that day because, I mean, honestly, there is no one-size-fits-all answer to this question, right? You know, how much money to put in your savings account. Um, the standard recommendation is about three to six months worth of basic expenses, but that balance is going to, you know, it's going to vary a lot based on your personal lifestyle, right? How much I need to save for three to six months is, you know, it's going to be different from what you need for three to six months, right? So we really got to find that target number, right? That's the first thing we're going to do. Find your target number. So... The, the way we're going to do this is we're going to determine, you know, to determine how much you need in your savings, right? Or what three to six months worth of expenses look like for you, right? We got to figure out how much you typically spend on your most important bills. So you can start by reviewing recent bank and credit card statements and stuff like that, right? Consider only essential expenses, right? So when, when we say essential, what we're talking about is rent or mortgage payments, uh, insurance, debt repayments, groceries, transportation, you know, stuff like that. You want enough to keep up with your most important bills for a few months without falling into debt, right? You don't necessarily need to, f to figure in savings or spendings on dining out or other entertainment, right? Uh, just assume you're drastically going to cut those costs in an emergency, right? Like, say you lost your job, right? You need to be able to live, eat, and, you know, go to and from, right? So say your core monthly expenses is about three grand, right? $3,000. You'll want to have at least three times that amount or $9,000 in the savings. For more peace of mind, you could aim for $18,000, right? Which would be that six months, right? So 9000 would be three months, 18000 would be six months, right? So it really really depends on how much you think you need in there because um, having three to six months of expenses saved you know like it's a general rule right but you could opt to save more if you think it would take longer than six months to find a new job if you lost yours or if your income is you know irregular uh, stashing away up to 12 months worth of expenses could be a smart choice you might also want to target a higher amount to save for optional expenses, such as occasional dining out or entertainment. So another really big question that people you know, ask when it comes to saving money and stuff like that is, how much money should I keep in savings versus how much money should I keep in my checking, right? So you want to aim to keep about one to two months worth of living expenses in your checking account. And then another three to six months worth of savings um, in your savings accounts, right? Where usually the reason why it's in your savings account is because it has a little bit better return. Even though most savings accounts are really low, you know, some people might tell you put it in a, a money market account or, you know, put it somewhere else. Just put it in a savings account, you know, don't, don't worry about it too much, right? Because it's, it's, while it's a lot of money, it's not a lot of money, right? So this would mean that you're actually going to end up with somewhere around four to eight months of living expenses total, right? One to two in your checking account and then three to six in your savings account, right? That way, you know, at any point in time, you know, you, you have the money just ready to go. It's just easier to deal with, you know, I would say build up a month in your checking account and then build up three months in your savings account. And then if you want more, I would say build up your savings account from three months to six months. And then after that, you could go back to your checking account and build it up from one month to two months, right? And then after you do that, of course, everything else just kind of, it's gravy, right? Um, you don't really want to save too much more than that. And, you know, you really want your money working for you unless, like I said earlier, your income is very irregular. Like maybe you just started a new online business or maybe you just started a YouTube channel and you're not really, you know, the money's not super reliable, right? 
So then the second uh, or the last thing we're going to do is talking about easy ways to grow your savings account, right? If you don't have the recommended amount of money in your savings account today, you can take some simple steps to get there. So one of the easiest is to look for small ways to reduce optional expenses, right? So what do we mean by optional expenses? So let's say if you usually go to a restaurant for lunch every day, you could pack a lunch for a few days a week. Or for weekend entertainment, consider free community-sponsored activities. Right? You don't have to cut everything you enjoy, right? Like You can still do things you like to do. Just make small tweaks, that way you spend less cash, right? You could also take on a part-time job or develop a new side hustle for added income, right? Uh, like I said earlier, like one of the popular ones is uh, e-commerce, right? An online store, and the other really popular one is YouTube. A lot of people want to make money on YouTube. And, I mean, to be honest, the, the requirement to earn money on YouTube is not very high, Right when you first get started, you might think, "Oh man, like you know that's gonna be easy." And then you make five, ten, fifteen videos. You're like, "Ah, uh, it's a little bit hard." And I think, but you know, consistency wins out there, right? So you also want to use recurring automatic transfers to easily stash what you've saved, right? You can typically schedule these each payday, you know, stuff like that through your website or mobile app. That way, you build your savings without much effort. Like, I myself have multiple automatic transfers. Every Friday, I automatically transfer, you know, uh, $200 into savings, $250 into my uh, brokerage account, and then I transfer all the rest of the money, uh, usually pays my bills, and then whatever I have left over, you know, I, I then decide what to do with it. But, like, the, the first ones, like, they're taken care of immediately. Every Friday, 200 to a savings account, 250 to brokerage account, right? Just boom, boom, knock them out, get them done, right? And then usually I decide, because I know what my expenses are. You know, I know how much it costs me to eat every week. I know how much it costs for gas. I know how much it costs for dog food. You know, I've got all my bills figured out, right? But again, the thing is, when it comes to your savings, it's everything that you need to survive, right? And the money for you for three to six months or you know, four to eight months, however you want to do it, it's going to be different for me, right? Like, in, in your situation, you know, there's just no telling what could happen. So I want you to, you know, the easiest way to do this, I would say, is just write it down, right? Just start out writing down everything that you know you need to live. You know, your rent, car payment, insurance, food, dog food, you know, everything you need to live, and then as soon as you get that number, either times it by three or times it by six and figure out what you need to save. So I really hope you guys got some good information from this video. Go ahead and give this video a like. Subscribe if you're not already. And until I see you guys in the next video, y'all be safe.